Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, I'm Dominic with 9to5 Tactical. Today we will be reviewing some holsters we have here from QBO Tactical. QBO is a company based out from Las Vegas, Nevada, ran by Roger Barrera, and they make great holsters like the ones we have here and other really good firearm accessories. Before we dive deeper into this review, just a disclaimer, we did purchase these ourselves and are not sponsored by QBO Tactical, so you'll be getting our honest review. The holsters we have in question today is the QBO Wingman and the Secondary. One thing to note from QBO is that all their holsters are made to order, so that means you'll usually have a lead time up to eight weeks, or you can go with a quick ship option, which is one to three business days. However, you don't get designs on it, it'll come in the standard black Kydex, opposed to waiting eight weeks, and you'll get a custom design and any other options you want. Something you probably notice here are these sick designs we have on the QBO holster. QBO holster offers these fabric overlays which uh, come universally on all their Kydex holsters and uh, there are plenty of them as you can see here. So not only do they offer those fabric overlays, they also offer a multitude of custom Kydex colors. We have this carbon gray one here, got this arctic white, we also have this like Christmas red one if you want something like that. So. Obviously other companies offer Kydex colors, but the multitude and selections you have from QBO is like above and beyond. So one more thing to note on the fabric overlays is that Rogers always constantly bring out new signs. So you'll not have to worry about collecting them all because you won't and you can add more to your Pokemon collection. Now we think this is a great opportunity to make these holsters unique to you. However, if you just want to get a standard one like this and be lame as fuck, but I get it if you don't want to get a design because these are mostly going to be hidden and staying in your pants. So QBO also offers a bunch of other options such as clips choice, hand orientation, as well as weapon mod light choice. They do have a bunch of other options that they list, but you can check out their website for more information. Now the design of the wingman is intended for inside the waistband appendix carry. Now appendix is simply the most superior as it offers maximum concealability, comfort, and speed. Moving further here to the wingman, it is a sidecar set with an extra mag carrier which also features a retention screw here so you can adjust to your levels of retention. Also features two J-hook clips here, has a wing. The wing we have here is a metal one. That's an extra option you can choose, but it comes standard with a 3D printed one. And also we have a retention screw here for the gun itself. Also featured on this holster is a bottom that's open-ended, so it can allow you to fit comp guns or ones with a threaded barrel. One thing to note when specking your holster on QVO's website is that they have an option you can select if you have a threaded barrel or not. Also, QVO does mention that even if you do select the threaded barrel option, it does not guarantee that that holster will accommodate your compensator. So they do say, please reach out to them before purchasing the holster to make sure that it will fit your comp gun. The material used here for the wingman is a 0.08 inch Kydex. The J-hooks are 1.75 inches in width to add extra stability when attached to your belt. The J-hooks have three adjustable positions, so whether you're the 5'4 homie or you're just six feet tall and better than everybody, you can always adjust to your preference. Now, if you don't like the standard J-clips that come with it, they also offer options like the DCC clips, Tacware five hole clips, the Ulti clip, and they also have an optional thin clip, which looks just like this, but a lot thinner. So it's really just the standard J-clips, but thinner. The Wingman is a Kydex holster with two solid pieces put together. Now, despite being two solid pieces, it does have a curve here in the center, which helps further contour the holster to your body to add extra comfort and concealability. Moving on to the side here, we have a wing, which comes standard 3D printed. Now, what the wing here does is helps further assist the holster to contour to your body to help reduce printing. QBO does offer an optional metal wing. Now, you can get this over the standard 3D printed one as it offers better durability. Now, We've had some 3D printed ones in the past break on us, but QBO was nice enough to send us some replacements for free with no questions asked. The holsters are also made to fit pistols with suppressor hide sights or red dots. One thing to note, QBO does also recommend that you add a little bit of blue Loctite to all the screws here so they do not wiggle out over time. I failed to do this on my first holster, so I did have to order a hardware replacement kit. So why is it that we chose the Wingman? The Wingman offers a lot of customization options, so we were able to personalize these to our own taste. Also, it offers an extra magazine here, which was a really big sign factor, so it allows us to perform emergency reloads at the range, as well as just having an extra magazine while we carry around. Carry around. 
Another thing to note is that the magazine placement is really nice. It's a slight kind of angle and is also a good amount of magazine sticking out so it allows you to get a good purchase and pull the mag out. Now if you don't actually want to run an extra magazine and prefer some life saving material instead of life taking material, you can also have a returner kit here and place it right there. So as mentioned before, I said that the height here allows me to get a good purchase. However, it is a bit of a double-edged sword. As you can see how high this magazine sits, it's actually above my belly button. And when I lean forward here, it pokes in. Also, because of the height, I think it does sacrifice some concealability. You might be, be printing here, depending on what shirt you wear. Also, another issue I found is that when I clear my garment, sometimes I like to snag my magazine and it would fall out. That is somewhat of an issue. Now in the future, we'd like to see there be some height adjustability here so you can seat the magazine lower or higher to your preference. So one thing that's also nice about the Wingman is that it has this curved center here to help contour to your body. So it has extra comfort and concealability. However, there's also the drawback that there is no flexibility here despite having a curve in the center. So it, will, it may not be comfortable for all body types. Other than that, it's a really good holster that very much secures your firearm. It's comfortable to wear, easy to conceal, and it also offers a lot of custom options to choose from. Moving on to the outside the waistband holster, we have the QVO Secondary. The Secondary is a outside the waistband single retention holster that offers maximum speed while also still being secure. Now how does it stay secure with a single retention level? For those who don't have a light, the retention will be set around the trigger guard, but for those who do have a light, it will be set around the light itself. The retention levels are also adjustable with this screw here. Just like a wingman, it's a Kydex holster that offers a lot of custom options and features to suit your preference. The secondary is also compatible with Safariland and Jinko belt attachments. Works with a UBL and QLS system. Also, you can get a Velcro mount that you, so you can attach to any fanny pack or backpack so you can still be stylish and deadly. So in our experience with the secondary, none of us have actually had the firearm fall out despite being single retention with the screws properly set. Now for our use case, single retention is enough for our needs to train with the outside the waistband setup. However, I would say a drawback despite offering maximum speed here is if you are an officer on duty or you are in the military and you find yourself in more hostile environments, I would probably still offer up a multi-level retention for that extra security. Just like the Wingman, QWheel offers a full design customization with this holster and we all chose our own unique designs. I thought that was awesome because everyone gets to add their own taste to their belt setups with the different fabric overlays on their holsters and mag pouch. We also enjoy how you can set your own retention levels via a screw here. Everybody kind of has their own preference on retention levels so it's kind of nice you can Preference when it comes to this, so it gives you a really good peace of mind. Now we all love our products from QVO Tactical. They make some really amazing products. We got all the boys in our group to order some of their gear. Not only that, they're a small business, so we'd love to show some love and support to them. Roger is a shooter like the rest of us, and he is designing products to benefit shooters just like you and I. He also runs an awesome YouTube channel, which we've all been watching his content for years. So shout out to the boys at QVO Tactical for putting out some great content. To conclude, whether this is inside the waistband or outside the waistband setup, I really cannot stress the importance of getting a real high quality holster. Why I say this, a good holster really keeps your firearm secure, reduces negligent discharges, and also helps protect from somebody trying to reach for your firearm. Not only that, it is more comfy to wear and also easier to conceal. Please get good and don't get a flaccid leather holster. With all that being said, thanks for watching and if you enjoy this type of content, please leave a like, share, and subscribe. Also turn on that bell notification to help us with that YouTube algorithm and also stay up to date on our content. Let us know in the comments on what other products you'd like to see in our channel and we will see you in the next one.